and the next topic in basic mathematics is maxima and minima let us see y is function of x is given suppose if the graph is like this now x value gradually increases but y value first increases next decreases next again increases that means whatever we are observing here the y value gradually increases and attains maximum value at this point again gradually decreases decreases and attains minimum value at this point again increases so what are the conditions of maxima and minima that is what we are going to learn here see dy by dx what do you mean by dy by dx from graph it is a slope of tangent drawn to graph at that point suppose if i draw tangent to this graph at this point and how to calculate the slope that is equal to tan theta so this theta is less than 90 degrees with x axis so tan theta will be positive so dy by dx is positive and here angle made by this tangent with x axis is 0 so dy by dx is 0 because tan theta is 0 and here if you draw this slope if you draw a tangent to the graph and it makes an angle greater than 90 degrees with x axis so slope will be negative because theta is greater than 90 degrees tan uh, theta value is negative so dy by dx is negative same here the slope will be negative so dy by dx is negative here again it makes zero angle with x axis so tan zero will be zero tan zero is a slope so dy by dx is also slope that is zero and here you are having dy by dx is positive see when it attains maximum value dy by dx is zero when it attains minimum value also dy by dx is zero that is my first observation next from here to here y value increases with respect to x so differentiation of y with respect to x is positive that means dy by dx first observation dy by dx is 0 at maxima also dy by dx is equal to 0 at minima in both the cases i got dy by dx is 0 and one more observation is here from here to here y is increasing with respect to x with x so differentiation of y with respect to x is positive that is y increases with x so dy by dx is positive that is what i have observed from here to here y value decreases with x decreases that's why dy by dx i got it as negative so y decreases with x so dy by dx is equal to negative and one more important point y increases with x y differentiation with respect to x is positive y decreases with x so y differentiation with respect to x is negative suppose you consider this point just before it slope is positive just after it slope is negative so from positive to zero then to negative that means can i say dy by dx is decreasing yes because from positive to 0 0 to negative so dy by dx is decreasing 
that means at maxima what i observed at maxima dy by dx is decreasing with what with x so its differentiation with respect to x must be negative means d by dx of its differentiation its differentiation means d by dx of this term again dy by dx is equal to negative now at minima at minima first dy by dx is negative next it is zero next it is positive so from negative to zero positive just before this point just after this point you can consider so from negative to positive zero next positive that means dy by dx is increasing with x so dy by dx is increasing with x so i can write differentiation of this term with x is positive so d by dx of this term dy by dx is equal to positive so what are the conditions at minima and maxima at maxima one condition i got dy by dx is zero and another condition i got d by dx of dy by dx is negative that is less than zero or we can write this d square y by dx square that is less than zero and at minima dy by dx is zero one condition and another condition is d square y by dx square is positive or greater than zero it is a very very important conclusion that means at maxima i will write here dy by two conditions dy by dx is equal to zero next to d square y by dx square is less than zero now at minima dy by dx is zero same condition and next d square y by dx square is greater than zero these are very 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 important uh, conditions that you have to remember so we will verify whether the double differentiation of y with respect to x is less than zero or greater than zero because by just differentiating with respect to x at one time and making it equal to zero we can't conclude whether it is maxima condition or minima condition because both are same only we can uh, come to know whether the y value attains maxima or minima when we verify double difference double differentiation of y with respect to x only if this value is less than zero we conclude that it is maximum and uh, this value with respect to x is greater than zero then we conclude that it is minimum